Okay, today we are going for a place that claims to be Korean barbecue. It's a place called Sapora, which you can see the sign right there. It's probably their second location. There's the ladies. So let's go check it out. I'll, I'll give you a close up. Okay, so this is what looks like a barbecue. It looks more like a sushi bar. Then it does. Oh, it's Korean barbecue. You want to do Korean barbecue or Korean barbecue? Yeah. Korean barbecue, yeah. Okay, follow me. Okay, so they got Korean over there, and then over here they have like sushi bar action. I see how it is. I'm not sure where the floors went. But we're just walking through puddles. That's not a good sign. Oh, hey. That's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. No, no, I'll sit on the chair. I'll sit across from you. Look, they get these cooking devices on the table. That's the Korean barbecue I'm used to. Let's take a look here. Okay, a little, a little pricey. What are you guys, are you doing the Korean or are you doing sushi? Like we, we sat over the Korean, so someone has to Traditional, do I'll do Korean, I'm doing <laughs> Korean. Oh, here's your combos, look. So you get different things and you cook it yourself on the table. There's the cookers. I don't know how these cookers work. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I see. They open up and they're like little grills. Just like back in California. Cool. So that's what it looks like. They, they're just protected with those surface things. Alright, so Bulgogi pot, $59.95. A soy sauce based soup pot with delicious na. Uh, a combo. Let me do one of the combos. You want to do? Oh, it's got galbi. Cool. So here's your combos. Let's take a look. Come with all set menus. Come with banchan and rice. I don't know what banchan is. Do you know what banchan is? No. So here's your combos. So you can take a look. Oh, here you go. It's on the side jacket. It says banchan comes with a variety of changes. Oh, okay. So banchan is the traditional sort of Korean side dishes that you normally get and it changes daily so you don't really know what the side dish is going to be but I'm probably going to do the let's see all right I do find the the water cups interesting so I'm going to go probably with the ribeye okay so I just found out that you must have at least a minimum of two meats well, so you can't order that for one person then? Yeah, you no. can't order a one person meal. You'd have to order ribeye yeah. test too if you wanted it. For right. Yeah. That's not happening. I'm not paying. And I said, so I basically I have to pay the $27.95 and the $29.95 so that I can eat food. And it looks like I'm not having Korean barbecue today. I apologize to you guys. We're going to go use this other menu that's sushi. Okay, as you can see, this is, um, this is the menu for... Sushi. This is the sushi menu. So take a look at that. Cherokee ticket. I mean, they're at more reasonable prices 12 and 16 and 17. I'm going to go with the bulgogi right here. Mar marinated, tender beef and vegetables. As always, you get this nice peanut dressing salad. And what is that? Is that miso soup? The miso soup. All right, let me try the soup really quick. It doesn't look that hot, it's not steaming. Okay, well, there's the appetizer size. $9.95. Can you put your hand by it? That's $9.95. Mm -hmm. There's the size of it. Put your hand, hand over here for me. And that's the size of the dinner bulgogi. Okay? And then this is just five and change. That's pretty good. The spicy tuna roll. And uh, and it looks it looks great. What do you got over there? I got spicy tuna and eel. So let's try this out really quick. It's not bad. I'm not raving about it, but 
It is a little spicy, which is good, because it was supposed to be the spicy roll, spicy tuna roll. Okay, bulgogi is the definition is marinade. Well, I don't know what the direct definition, but it's supposed to be like a teriyaki beef, and it's supposed to be sweet and delicious. So we're gonna try it right now. Hold on, I can't grab it with the tongs. Here we go. That has been into a nerve. Literally, there's a nerve running right through this meat. My girl. I don't know if you can hear me, but we're gonna do the kimchi now. You ready? Now, kimchi, you either like it or don't like kimchi. It's one of those items. So here we go. I love kimchi. Mm. It's average kimchi. Everything so far has been just mess. I just wanted to show that really quick. That was my wife's bowl. I want everybody who gets butt hurt easily to leave the room. <laughs> if you're going to get your panties in a wad because we're critical, then leave this video right now. Go ahead. All right, so I ordered two things. I ordered the bulgogi appetizer and a smoked salmon roll. So the bulgogi appetizer was small and the meat was not very well marinated in my opinion. It wasn't a lot of flavor to it, kind of bland. And then the smoked salmon roll, the salmon was not smoked. <laughs> so um, yeah, overall it was just, eh. I won't be back probably. You won't come back, okay. No. All right, so I got the eel roll and I couldn't taste any eel. A lot of, lot of rice. And the other one that I got was the spicy tuna. That was pretty good, but I mean, it was, it's spicy tuna. Um, but I will probably be eating in the next hour or two. So, that's about it. All right, thank you, sweetie. Uh -huh. My opinion is this, the name Sapporo. I haven't told you not to go anywhere. This was, um, the food was okay across the board. Nothing was great. For the price they charged me, or for the prices they were asking for, you better have a chef online that knows how to marinate meat. You better have a chef in that building that knows how to make good flavors because everything's bland here. I could have gone to Sushi Train and for half the price eaten twice as much. Not that I want to eat twice as much, but you want some value. So this place, I don't know if they're, if they need the money or what, but they're asking way too much money for the quality of food and the flavors. That was it. So I'm giving this a big thumbs down and I will talk to you on the next Jack of the Go. Bye-bye.